How's it going YouTubers? Cornwolf here. Thank you for joining for another video today. And today we've got some settings uh, and, a, and a little look at F1 2020. So I've had this game for almost a week now and I think I've got the settings dialed in. There's not an awful lot of settings to go through but a few things have changed and a few things have updated with this game. So I'm just going to do a very quick video just to show you the settings that I've got and then also where you can change a few bits because they've, they've tweaked a few bits of the menus although from this screen as you can see here it still looks kind of the same so uh, let's go into the wheel settings first of all so down into game options as always go to settings and we'll go to controls vibration and feedback so i've got a custom setting down here Do -do -do. and for my f1 wheel so we'll just go into here i'm just going to edit it just so you can see what i've got so we'll, we'll come back to con uh, control scheme collaboration that is exactly you know how you want it and it's going to tweak it and that um, I've kept everything as default because it works for me. The one thing I have changed is the saturation. So if you're finding you've got a load cell pedal um, or something like that, and you can't quite fully get a full break. So I'm now hitting 100%. I'm using my, my right foot at the minute, not my left foot. But um, before, if I take that 20 down, I have to really like hammer the pedal. So just have a play with that saturation. And all it does is just moves the kind of maximum press and it just like enhances it so so that's that's that pretty much uh vibration and feedback again just a, a few minor tweaks what works for me um so 85 percent 85 percent 85 on the vibration and feedback strength so i kind of like it fairly heavy when i'm racing just so i know when i get a snap because that's when it gets a little bit looser and you feel it go uh on track uh effects 20 rumble strip effects 40 off tracks effects 20 so i keep that high ish but i don't want it to break my hand if i do have a moment and then wheel dampener is on 10 understeering enhance i've got that on at the minute and like i say it all works well and the maximum wheel rotation is, is 360 although my we do 900 i don't want to be pretzeling my arms up and um, just to get that kind of full lock you know at some of the hairpins and, and whatnot canada places like that mfd shortcuts i haven't played with um, but one thing that i will show you on here is your control scheme so there's one bit I am going to change right now because it's not set just at the minute. So I've got all, just make sure obviously your paddles are set up and your clutch if you've got a clutch pedal. Now I am actually going to change one button because it does change it how it is in the game and that is overtake. So ERS or DR, not DRS, but the your, any, uh, your extra, I think is it 10 KPH or something like that that you can do. It's gone to in this game more of a, IndyCar style where you have a push to pass system and for me on my wheel this is like a really random button so what I'm going to do I'm going to change this to to Y which is also change view so I'm just going to change that to that button so just swap them around and that just makes it easier on my particular wheel just make sure that you've got this button somewhere that you can use because depending on what setting you have this is going to be on or off and unlike the ERS was a little bit different you're going up and down a menu the menu is a bit convoluted and I, I don't find it easy whereas you've just got a button press on this and you can go from um, I think it's low medium overtake something like that and then you just cycle through it which is pretty nice so that's one of those things I've got a for ERS and pit limiter because I don't use a pit limiter but um, it's it's activated in different areas so that's fine X for communications and then uh, B for your menu um, on there so that's pretty much all those kind of settings as you would expect um, what we're going to do, I'm just going to jump into a, a, a free practice and I will just quickly show you a few other things that you can change because you've now got a field of view that you can change and you can also take the halo off as always but again that is in a different menu to before so let's jump into a race and I'll show you where you can change those bits okay so here we are, we're on the, the start finish straight of uh, Hanoi in Vietnam uh, so what we're going to do is just hit the menu button and then what you want to do is just go across to preferences and there's a couple of things here so camera options or customization uh, you can set this to global you can set it to just that particular car so I'm in the McLaren car um, and then you obviously the, the bit that you're editing because you can change them and you've got your field of view this is a very personal setting to how you want to look and view and different things and obviously the further out that you go so I've got set mine set at uh, negative uh, 0.15 um, which which works for me 
um, but you can go right out but it really starts to elongate things and I don't like it that far out I have tried it out a little bit but this is what works for me gives me that kind of realism um, I've just adjusted the vertical bit just so I can see it a bit at the end of the day you know we're not sat in an actual F1 car so if you can find your breaking points and hit that apex just by tweaking these then go for it and I've not really changed anything else but in here in the field of view settings is where you've now got your your uh, halo column so this is where you can um, turn that on and off um, so it's not in the, the graphical options or wherever it was before it's it's now in here so we're just going to back out of there we will just quickly jump into the graphic options not an awful lot to show you there's a blur animation steering animation i have that turned off and um, purely because of um I, I just don't like it moving, although I might add it back on. I'm, I'm not too sure. Um, and then you've just got HDR, which um, I'm on, although I'm on an Xbox One S uh, in my setup at the minute. I've got an X downstairs, but because I'm recording it and it's not in 4K, that's why uh, HDR's off. But just remember to go in there and, and change that. So we're just going to go back and I tell you what, let's go for a race just before I show you this. So on screen display, if you hit this, uh, you can actually customize everything on the screen wouldn't recommend doing this while you've got your wheel on it's going to be a bit faffy so if you've got your control on that but you can move everything around just to give you that kind of almost pc level of customization you can move things around change your track map all those things so you can completely customize this to how you want so i'm just going to cancel that but that is that is there if you want to uh, and you can have different layouts for practice and pits and all sorts of stuff um which is which is really really nice and i've just got on track to do this I, i'm not sure if you can do it in um in the actual uh pits and things you have to physically get out onto the track so i'm just going to go back uh, and let's just do a couple of laps around hanoi um and i could tell you a little bit more about the game so get some wheel spin off here there we go, that's that kicked in. Um, so the game itself is uh, really nice. The um, let me just get around this corner. I've not really driven around this track at all yet. The my team bit is just an absolutely fantastic um, addition, just to what was already a really good series. And the best thing is as well is um, I've not played it an awful lot with the um, with the controller, but it is super accessible for anybody that's got a controller. Um, just just to make it so much more accessible for you know if you've got kids or an other half or a mate coming around and you want to do a race before you watch the race or something like that so they've, they've worked a hell of a lot on getting this um this this game set up and it, and it is awesome I, i'm a massive f1 fan anyway but it just it is just working really really well and um, the hanoi circuit um as you can see is you know an interesting one it, for me it has um shades of azerbaijan and uh, it's got a little bit of i think especially when you're going between these bits a little bit of canada um, and and whatnot but it, it works okay it's just it's a very fast track a little bit like monza with your with your slow bits um but you guys will have to have a race around it see what you think but it's one that you have to be fairly ballsy and it's a shame we've not seen the 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 actual F1 guys sling it around this track yet um, but yeah it's a super nice one and I mean I can't believe the race we've just had in Austria uh, with Lando Norris getting his podium and and different things um, a lot of people have said the race wasn't great but I super enjoyed it you, you, you couldn't predict half of that stuff that was going to happen and I think it just shows that the amount of work that the guys do on the cars before they get to somewhere like austria which is super abrasive and just shakes the crap out of the car um so it actually um almost dismantles the car um the, the the my team on this works really really well and you can feel the difference in the car you know you are starting from the back and it's got a little bit of the uh, motorsport manager aspect to it i feel that kind of buying your team and buying uh, not necessarily buying your team but buying your sponsors or getting your sponsors in and having your certain bits and bobs but i'll do some more videos about the my team stuff but i just wanted to give you a few laps around here um obviously the hanoi circuit 
it's really nice to drive around. There's just a couple of corners that, if you've not raced it before, they are going to catch you out. And I do apologise if you can hear my, the clicking of my paddles, but um, that's just one of those things because I'm shifting up gears <laughs> in an F1 car. Unless you're going flat out, you're forever shifting up and down. I could have gone a bit later on the brakes there. But yeah, uh, there'll definitely be some more videos coming for this game to the channel. But I just wanted to just give you some setup advice, give it a lap around Hanoi, um, and just show you where a few of the bits have changed. And I, I don't think there's an awful lot to change with the, the wheel settings. It's not one of those games, a bit like Assetto Corsa, where you're forever changing things and whatnot. The, the, the different games. Um, but yeah, so that's a, a lap around Hanoi. Um, I've just got. 2,879 an achievement, who are you going to call? Beat your personal best, so there you go. So, um, let's do some donuts. <laughs> so that's that's the F1 settings. Uh, I really hope everyone enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you have a good time with the game. And just let me know your thoughts below. Obviously this is on the Thrustmaster TX wheel, but I don't think you're going to need much difference for the Logitech and Fanatec and different things like that. The, the base setting seems to work pretty well. So until next time guys, don't forget if you like this video, give it a thumbs up, give it a like, comment below if you're picking it up, what you think to the game. And if you are interested in seeing more videos and getting your name in the credits and stuff, uh, chuck me a membership if you've got a few quid spare. So until next time, I shall see you all soon.